Hello everybody, this is Gumbster42, and after a long hiatus, uh, I'm back with the new entry in the D4C Chronicles. Well, the D4 Chronicles, rather. This is the experiment It takes place after the Fourth Sector. It heavily involves uh, people relating to the other series that has been brought in to the D4C, uh, Rose and Crystalette. What's going to happen is after you ignore this title screen, because this is still a beta. What's, what's gonna happen here is that this this takes place in the entirety of the Archaeus world. As such, a greater knowledge of the events that happened in the past, including the games, up to now, uh, be known. Now, the experiment itself has an entry where you can read the summary of the of the of the, the game and the history of the RKS, but I'm gonna summarize it a bit faster. Basically, there was a big war a thousand years ago between the Holy Empire and Magi. Magi rather. Probably gonna say Magi, that's probably that's probably that probably sounds a lot better. Magi who uh, are humans with magical powers versus the Holy Empire who had no powers really. And just regular humans. Uh, among the Magi was a man named Rosencruz, who is the strongest Magus to live. He and eight of his disciples fought a grand battle at the end of the Holy War that brought about peace at the expense of his life. Some Magi were brought into the Holy Empire and created an order called the uh, Blades of the Rose Cross, aka the RKS. Recently, in 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 in, in uh, game time, I mean, there was a rebellion by the RKS because they thought fed lies because they were fed lies. They thought that the Holy Empire was going to start tracking them down and killing them again, <coughs> as they did with Magi in before before the war. As it turns out, it was a lie orchestrated by one Iris Zeppelin for her own amusement, because she saw herself as a god, because she is half the reincarnation of Rosencruz, and as such is the second most powerful magi to live, and uh, in the end, Spiritual Rosenberg, who is the third enlightened, in the, in, in, as we find out in like the fourth sector and whatnot, uh, she stops Iris, and my controller just died, because the battery went loose. Great. Anyway, before I reconnect the controller and everything, since I have to redo all this stuff in order to get the controller to be red again, um, after Iris escaped, after Spirit, after Spiritria a beater and whatnot, um, the Holy Empire did in fact start persecuting the Magi again by using what what was called the uh, the Black Cross. I think it was the Black Cross. No, the Black Cross. I think that's what they were called. Among them. Around the, the ranks of the of the, of the Black Cross, aka the Schwarz Crews, was uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll never be able to pronounce her name right. Eifer Schulte, and uh, she was is rather a sort of golem created by uh, Iris in Freudia's Freudian Newall's image, and basically. Uh, they were stopped. The, the 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 Black Cross was stopped again. Well, they were stopped rather. Period. Uh, and the persecution basically, well, it didn't really end according to this timeline. And uh, basically, in terms of the D4C canon, after the second game, which involved the Black Cross and them being stopped by Aphrodia and Spiritu being rescued from their captivity, uh, the 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 Fourth Sector happens. And then we're here. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, reconnect my controller. And we're back. So, basically, uh, if you're curious about the actual game itself, uh, both Rosencrystalet and uh, Rosencrystalet Freud and Statchel, uh are basically Mega Man games. You know, you you have the the basic Mega Buster power up. Which is the single the single shot? You charge it up for a powerful shot. You defeat the end. You defeat the bosses. You gain some of their powers, and then you fight like a, a three or four stage marathon at the end to fight the final boss in like three or four stages. Uh, 
It's a fun game. Hard. I did a let's play of the first one. Didn't really get that far because um, I'm not that great at, at Mega Man games that don't have X in them. As the shame I am to say that. Although I did manage to beat Mega Man 2 just using the Mega Buster by itself. Though that was going to be an accident. For reasons I'd rather not get into right now. So, what's going to happen now is as soon as I click back into the window, uh, we're going to choose the OP and the experiment, which will bring us to this thing proper. Now, how this is going to work is that I'm going to give detail over some of these characters if you meet them. First off, Kid on the top left. That's Ice. He's, uh... Ice, as in E-I-S, as in the German number. He is basically an OC just made for, just for this series. So, uh, yeah. The girl is uh, Traue Werde. Again, this is... These are all, like, Germanish names, so I'm gonna mispronounce the hell out of them. She is a member of the RKS. Uh, I forget what number she is, but her whole thing is water. She she basically wears a swimsuit like all the time because this is this is a Japanese this is based off a Japanese game remember so she wears a swimsuit like almost all the time and she's a good swimmer and she's very competitive and uh, and she uses like she uses a spear that that's name I think I think her spear is called Leviathan you know appropriate name so yeah um, her fight is very good in the, in the game the RKS game, rather. So, so yeah. Basically, what's going on here is that Ice is trained to be a member of the RKS, and Trare is training him. Which is very nice. It's very, it's very, uh, it's very f family stuff. Now, even though this has been given to me that's a Let's Play, this is still more or less a beta, so some things are gonna be broken, like that title screen. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a thing, because right now there's, a uh, the war with the humans are still, is, is going on, I think more or less still, and then, yeah, Spiritria is, is missing, along with Ifer and Iris, I think Frodia too, uh, because they were teleported away by Scorpion in the fourth sector, in case you, uh, haven't seen that, in case you, you know, you haven't seen it, then, uh, spoilers. But basically, since this place takes after the first sector, you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a thing to, to refresh. There's like, I think, three or four people that's playing the fourth sector right now. I know I let's played it. I think Hailstorm's replaying it because it got, it got changed a lot actually. Uh, you're gonna be seeing more fourth sector from me soon after uh, I get to where I need to go because there, there was a lot of new stuff added to, to to the game, along with a new ending, which I'm not sure if this spoils or not. But yeah, basically we're supposed to catch her with the thing, but, you know, it's beta and it's not really working that well. So we'll just get to this that bit there, and yeah! Everything's a happy time! Everything's a super happy time! So now we're going to go, uh... We're, we're going to go to, to, to Psyched Meister's house, who is another member of the RKS. Um, like I said, all these names are German, I'm gonna mispronounce them all. Uh, I kind of regret that, because I'm pretty sure all these guys have awesome names in German, but I can't pronounce it well. And now they're talking about the vortex that showed up. Uh, the, the, the thing that, that sucked up uh, Spiritria in them. Because, you know, that, that, yeah. So now, we're going to uh, just, just have talk times. And then, and then all the happy times are gonna get interrupted because because bad people showed up on the scene. What kind of bad people? Well, the only bad people you can imagine in this series. Good on them, huh? Good on them. I'd read all this, but considering that we're in ten minute, we're almost ten minutes in without some action. I'm gonna avoid using Hunter's voice to to speed all this along, and um, I'm also skipping almost all of this. Stuff, all of these uh, dialogue scenes. I'm sure you can probably pause it or read fast. So, mm, yeah. Once, once after this video, I'm gonna, after the after this video, I'm gonna go back to doing the hunter thing. So, uh, yeah, it's just for the sake of time because we're ten minutes in and nothing actually has happened. In case, in, in case I'm going too fast, uh, Trio was just captured. By Scorpion and Hunter. 
can't really see it because of the sprites, but I'm assuming that that they just have her in a net, or they just grabbed her or something. So, she's incapacitated for now. At the very least, she's not able to fight back. So, yep, they're gonna go, and then we're gonna just, we're gonna follow or something. You think that, you know, the they just they just kill him because uh yeah you you think they just kill him yep i think the, th the thing that amused me right now about this is that they don't want the Magi up in their business, even though they can probably take out the entirety of the RKS and the Black Cross uh, really fast. Also, Sissy. That's actually, considering that, that, he is, that, that she is his sister, that's appropriate and insulting. It's amusing on both ends. Like I said, you don't see it in the sprites, and I'm assuming that Trow would be over there by Scorpion and Hunter, because, uh, yeah. Can say that I do like the way the, uh, the RKS sprites have been redesigned just, just for, for this. And I do like Ice's design. I like that hairband. That's a nice hairband. Anyway, now we're gonna get that pop up. They don't know who the Ark. They don't know who Scorpion and Hunter are. So as far as we know, they're just unknown. And I'm just waiting so I can get this thing closed. Now we're gonna start this proper. And by proper, I mean we're gonna go up to Ice's face and we're gonna go into intro stage. I'm assuming this is gonna be styled like the RKS in that you choose and that it's like open issues. You choose whichever stage you want. But the intro stage is always mandatory because, like I said, it's based off Mega Man, and, and the first stage of Mega Man is always no, except for, well. I guess not always, because Mega Man 1 didn't have a an intro stage. Ah well, as you can see, the uh, enemies have taken have wasted no time in, in taking over the area, and as you can also see, we have heart points now. You can also see, well, you probably can't see it because if you never played it, you wouldn't know. But all these graphics are taken from the uh, RKS game itself. So, you know, graphics are nice like that. We have three heart points, five lives, as usual. Careful, duck under the, the clone. I'm not gonna risk getting whatever this is over there, because it's probably just a trap. And I'm already at full health anyway. And that thing's gonna fall on my head, so I'm gonna wanna clear some space. There we go. Let's just jump over the donut bridge. Okay. Whoa, hello. Don't know what you are. You seem kind of scary. You look like a shell, but you're a fire flower. That shoots straight shots. That are very spammable. Oh dear. I have a feeling I know what I'm going to use this for. Spam it all. Oh, it was fun while it lasted. All two seconds that it lasted. I'm losing all of my heart points. Oh jeez. I should not be in the water. This is not a good place for me to be. Oh, but I made it to the end anyway. Fair enough. I really hope I'm not gonna have to use. I'm not gonna have to need the heart points. Let's go down. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Let's. Can I spin jump? I cannot spin jump. That is a thing I cannot do. There we go. No heart points. Right. I'm running this blind. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm running this. Uh. Oh. They're here, and they have Trowe. Fair enough. I'm assuming she's struggling or something. Yeah, she's 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 uh struggling and stuff. All you'd really need to do really is just to choke her out until she like passes out. Then she'd be fine. Or just, just just smack her upside the head really hard. That would that would knock her out too. Alright. Ew. You don't don't describe it using the words wet and juicy. That's, uh... Those aren't the right words I'd use. 
These really aren't the right words I'd use. Just smack her. That's all you have to do. Well, when you use the words relatively unharmed, you know, it could just... It's, it's like the difference between a few bruises and, like, tearing out their organs. If you're, if you're picturing tearing up their organs, then, then then leaving a few bruises, that's relatively unharmed. You know? You know what I mean? There you go. She's down. She's down and out. Well, she's down and out, and I think I've been locked out. Yes, I have. So time to take this little swim down, I guess. Info block. Right? So, he's just now noticing all the bad things. I'm assuming I'm probably going to have to go down there. I'm going to want a heart point. This is probably a heart point. Or a cross point. Just call him a cross point, I guess. Ooh. Okay. Let's do some very precision swimming here. Oh, with one of these things following me, this is going to be... I'm going to power through. Oh, that's death. I have to save myself with like the very last second here. But you're gonna be following me for a while, I assume. So like get off screen like that. There you go. Okay. It's so now that that's out of the way. You're gonna be following me for a while, I assume. So I can swim past you real fast. Alright, good. Spikes. I don't know if these spikes is to kill or not. I'm not willing to find out either. I only have one heart point, so it really matter either way. Careful. Very carefully. Alright, can I kill you? Yes, I can. Okay, let's see if I can get this right. Gotta watch out, gotta watch out for the for the thing, make sure you don't get batted up. Alright, I'm doing good so far. I'm doing very good so far. Excellent. Oh jeez. Nope, no careful. Okay. That was that went about as well as I could possibly hope for. Okay, up here now. Some bad things. I did not mean to back into the spikes like that. Save state. Oof. Okay. The, 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 the spikes did that thing again where, like, the, the, the last pixel was safe. Oh, jeez. Why did I jump into that? That was not a fun thing for me to jump into. There we go. Wait for you to come down. Wait for you to come down. That's good enough. Take a shell with me for safety. Alright. Right. Forgot I cannot obliterate you with a shell. I also have to remember that you're, uh... You like to follow. That should be good enough. There you go, now you're dead. Now we're back up here. I should grab one of these for safety. So far, so good. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, apparently I have to... Right here. Jump up here. Okay. Alright. This is working out very well. What? Huh? Oh. This is... Oh yeah, like I said, um, RKS, Rose and Stilette, was a, it's basically a Mega Man game. So they had the things like the doors where you, you hit them, then it goes to like this center screen, and then... You hit this, and it goes to a boss room. So, I'm assuming that this is just going to be chock full of RKS references. And then, yeah, um, Hunter's gone. trowie has gone. This is going to be the uh, boss fight, I suppose. Because, you know, at the, at the end of the intro stages, you almost always had a boss fight. Especially in RKS, you had a boss fight uh, at the end of the intro stage of that one, and I think the Frozen Statue, the second game, had a boss fight at the end of that, too. I'm assuming, though, you don't get anything out of this intro stage. I actually wonder if you get power-ups for beating up the, the bosses at the end of this other stages. So, yeah. Hopefully this boss fight's gonna be easy, because I only have the one heart point. So, yeah. Just gotta wait for the, the battle the actual battle to start. 
You know, I'm pretty sure if they could, they would put a little sound bite at the start of this. Because <laughs> that's what you that's what happened in Resident Evil 2. You had the uh you had uh, uh you had the actual characters voicing like a little snippet of voice at the start of their fights. So this isn't a start. Apparently not. What do I have to sweep for the screen to darken completely? Apparently, yes, that's what I have to do. Right, so boss fight. What do I have to do? Jump on his head. Okay, that works. Can I jump on this? Why can I? Just be able to just keep jumping on his head. Right, watch out for the, uh... Why does he do that? Oh, because he, oh, he's shooting out, he shoots out a thing too, right? Now, I think already the big issue for me here is going to be inv invincibility frames for him. Because I noticed that, uh... He wasn't really flashing or anything, so I couldn't really tell if he had invisibility frames on or not. I need to wait. This is the part where I have to wait for a a magic a magic, magic Koopa, uh, a winged Koopa to just shoot down like that, right? Let's clear off some let's clear off some sprites here, especially the uh, yellow ones. I really don't want them to be raining on this parade. Shoot up. Okay, now you're back down here. All right, so second stage, he is going to be doing a thing like that. Oh, he's gonna be following me too. So this is something I have to be very careful for. See this uh, his this thing here, cause cause he has this thing where like all like almost all their bosses do, where you can't like actually touch him or you die. But since there's no like hit stun or anything to like let me know when he gets hit, uh, it's it's very hard for, like to get to get his 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 to like know when touching him is safe and when touching him isn't safe. Like he's he's safe here, but then he's not safe. Oh, and now he's dead. It's a bit of a tricky boss fight. In in that, you know, it's hard to tell when you can hit him and when you when you when you'll die. So now we're just gonna get killed. And then and then that's the end of the game. Though actually I think the game is like fifteen levels long. It's missing a couple of bosses, but I think those are just difficult to program, so they're just not gonna do it. Which makes sense, I mean I mean coding anything beyond the scope of the game would be uh beyond the scope of the original Super Mario World is probably gonna be a bit difficult. I know I still think we're gonna do it. Especially when it comes to like combining all the all the ASM codes and everything to make it all work well and not be a, a buggy mess. So this is going overtime now. You can just leave and we'll be fine. There you go. Alright. Yeah, this is referring to a thing where as they would go destroy worlds, they would leave one survivor alive just to languish in pain and suffering. They stopped once Alan once Alania uh, managed to escape and help Mario back in uh, way back. You know, like, 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 way back, way, way back, actually. That was a long time ago, relative to this, relative to, uh, this game, the continuity. So, yeah. Bye, Scorpion. Miss you. Ooh, you caught him with a little shit. That's very insulting. So, yeah, we have to go, we have to go, uh, recruit the other members of the RKS. At least those in the eighth ring. These are all people I'm gonna have to explain once we get to them. Alright. So is this special mission yeah we have their names right here, so what do we have? We have Zorn, we have Labia, Swarmuta, and Odolis. Right. So what's gonna happen? I think this is just this four for now. So what's gonna happen? is that as we go through each stage, I'm going to provide background information on the character based off their uh, their profiles from the games. Because, you know, I don't know that... I, I, know, I, know, I know a lot about most of these characters, but since this game is pretty much crossing over the D4, C, and Rosen Crystalette, it would only be fair to to go over these, these people in detail, because not a lot of people would know who these are. So I think so you know just, just a little primer at the start of every stage. So I think maybe what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one stage per video. 
that would be that that would be appropriate, wouldn't it? Because I think they might they might be like 15, 20 minutes long each. We'll see. We'll see. Bye, everybody.